Previously on Mission 2110. I set missions throughout Futuregate to test each and every one of you. You've got to get three resistance keys. Don't touch a shade, otherwise that's you out of the mission. It's the right one. Well done. It's the right one. Well done. Got it. Your mission is to disarm the three pressure switches on the roboid's chest. Okay, get out of there. Get out. No. Move quickly. This is a time mission. Brady, yellow, and orange. Go hit one, hit one. Mission over. Two bio rods to the first pair of recruits to bring me back his bolts. Yes, come on. Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. Can anyone hear me? Is there even anyone alive out there? They've taken over. The world is in ruins. I need your help. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us on Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you, this is Mission 2110. This is Futuregate. Once upon a time, the scientists who worked here thought they were building a better world. A utopia served by intelligent robots. Sadly, the creations turned against their creators, and now the roboids march in armies intent on one thing. The total destruction of the human race. The Resistance must fight back. And the answer lies with the retrieval of these bio-rods. Vital fuel for the roboids, and we must secure as many as possible. But this time, one recruit must go. Those roboids are definitely growing in number. We're going to have to do something about that. OK, recruits. It seems like you motley crew have somehow survived to fight another day. Now, Connor, you've just escaped with the skin of your teeth from Shade Alley. Did it smell bad in there? It's disgusting and vile. Uh, and Max, you were the only recruit to bring a bio rod out of the live wire mission. What were your tactics? My tactics were to stay calm, use steady hands, and when I get the first bio rod, leave without taking the risk. Ah, the strategy of no risk. Good thinking. Iofi and Melanie, frozen vaults, what went wrong? You were so close. We didn't communicate as much as we should have. We got the combination, but we just ran out of time. You did indeed, but not to worry, though. There are plenty more opportunities to snag yourself some more of these bio rods. But I should warn you, recruits, the next time we meet in my lair, there will only be three of you left. Could be you. Could be any of you. So, recruits, for the next mission, who's good at football? Me. Ah, good news for you. This next mission is all about the hands. Okay, recruits, the next step in your journey with the Resistance starts here. This next mission is all about dexterity. That means skill with the hands. If you look beneath you, you'll see a familiar Whoa. face. A horrible, ugly worker roboid. Now, we've met these ones before, haven't we? These are drone-class roboids, and as the name implies, he's rather like a giant bee. Well, if a bee was nine foot tall, made of metal, and had huge pincer claws. But here's the sting in the tail. You know, like you know, the sting in the tail, like a bee. Uh, what's like that? Sting in the tail of a... What? No one? No one thinks that's funny. No. I don't know why I'd bother. When we place this override key into the console, now we've got control of the robot. Yes. Your mission, recruits, is to guide that worker robot all around the supply store and smash his claws into that fuse box, powering him down. Along the way, recruits, it's essential that you smash up as many of the robot supplies as you possibly can. I'm going to set you in pairs for this mission, so Max and Iofi, you're up first. The controls are simple, but you can only take one each. One is left and right, the other's forward and back. You've got a punch button and a kick button. But remember, only one control can work at a time. So you really need to work as a team to make this happen. And Iofi, this is especially important to you, because you currently have no bio rods. You feeling confident? Yes. Glad to hear it. Teams, let's give them some room. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's do this. 
your first. You must be pleased. How are yes. you feeling? Are you happy with yourself, Iofi? Yes. Knew you could do it. Let's get out of here. Go. The mission went really well because we, were, we got to control the Roboid and working as a team made it easier to defeat him. We controlled a Roboid and we like absolutely like wiped the floor with him and to destroy his own base and he didn't even know about it. So it was quite good fun. Mission on. Forward. Five targets to smash up recruits and one heavyweight worker to do it with. Punch. Use those controls wisely. Left. Forward. Forward. There's some radioactive tins there we could Punch. smash up. Great going. Left. Forward. Over to the nitro pipes, recruits. Right. Remember to work as a team. Punch. Fantastic! Left! Not long to go. Forward! Got to get rid of that coolant tube. Punch! Forward! And now just to blow a few. Forward! Let's power him down. Punch! Fantastic! Congratulations, team. Now get down there and collect those bio rods. Go for it! Oh, yes, come on! OK, recruits. You collect those bio rods quickly. Now you get out of here and onto the oh, next yes, mission while I on. finish this banana. Oh yeah. Go. Yes. We did really well by getting the two bio rods off the roboids. We got to control the roboids, and this gets us one step closer to victory. I found it extremely interesting controlling the roboids because usually they're the ones that control us, but today we got to rule them. To anyone out there who can hear me. To anyone out there that might be part of the resistance. Hi. I've got a pretty good team of recruits for these missions. Looks like Cybele was right. These youngsters from the past have got guts, energy, quick wits to be proud of. Where the adults failed, they've already proven that they're a match for the Roboids. But it's not over yet. No, indeed. In the next mission, they will destroy a Roboid. I meant to do that. I've got two pointy sticks now. Okay, recruits, I think we're safe for now, but we've got to stay alert. This guard looks like it's in a spot of bother. We've met these Commander class roboids before, haven't we? Yeah. It can't see us, but at this range it won't need to see us to do us some serious damage with those heavyweight fists. For example, this is way too Not close. There's no way I should be doing this to a child, but let's face it, they are only guidelines. <laughs> Follow me. A little while ago, I managed to capture a few of these guards, and I've had them locked up here on deck ever since. This is a logic and bravery mission. These weights here are essential for keeping the chains taut and the roboid locked up safe. However, if we increase the weight by just a fraction, then spratang! The kettlehead gets catapulted into the sea! Yes! Yeah! Recruits, I've left you a couple of clues lying around the deck to help you pick the perfect combination of weights. Because, recruits, if you get so much as one weight incorrect, then when you pull that lever, the chains will loosen and the roboid will break free. If that happens, get out of here fast. Mission on. 
Okay, recruits, let's crack these codes. Remember, there's four different weights. Every single one must be correct. Work out which colored symbol is the heaviest. Match the symbol with a weight. Only the four heaviest weights can break those chains and destroy that roboid. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Okay, let's start with this one. That's, that's heavier than that's heavier. It's the yellow. yellow. You sure? It's lighter. That is heavier than that. Yes. Yellow to the yellow. Recruits, right. you must yeah. destroy this guard roboid before it breaks free and destroys you. Are you ready to hook it on? The longer you take recruits, the angrier yeah. that roboid gets. You have to get four correct weights. It's the pink one, it's four the pink chains. one. How is it? Because look, that's heavier, but then that's lighter than that. That's one, two ones. Yeah, that's, that's the, the pink one. one, it's the pink one. How? Because that one's, that one's heavier than that one. Okay. That will pull the chains taut, and this guard roboid will be flung into the sea. Make sure you get every single weight correct. You're only going to get one chance, the slightest mistake. And that roboid's coming straight at you. Um, I think it might be the grey one. How, um, no, blue. No, no, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Light blue? Light blue. Are you sure? Um, wait a sec. Are you sure? Yeah. Fine, Once really you've got it. that final weight on, pull that lever. Let's check, let's check. Sure? Yeah, let's check. Let's check. Could be running out of time. It's definitely not the blue one. Blue? Do you want to do it? Blue. Yeah. Do you pull it? Okay, recruits, if you're confident, ready, ready? pull that Go. lever. Mission over. Melanie Max, I'm proud of you. Yeah! I want to be Caleb's last one for so much. It's just been so much fun blowing up the roboids and beating them. It's just wow. I want it more because <laughs> I think I think I'm right for Kayla because I'm like a mini him in a way because like I'm always a bit cheeky or I'm a bit and he's quite small like a bit like me. <laughs> so, but I would want it. I want it for all of us really. But in a way, there's only one last recruit and hopefully that'll be me. Mission on. Okay, recruits, let's Watch work as a team and solve these puzzles. It's green. Right, go, 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 go. Get green, 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 green. Come on, Ivory, come on. Green, green. This is a timed mission, recruits. Ready? It's on, right. Say, come on. Right. Yellow. Yellow. Go get yellow. Come on, Ivory. Four codes, four there. weights. You have to get all four of them correct if we want to see that roboid twanged into the sea. Try not to get too close pink, to the roboid pink, recruits. Pink, pink. pink. yes, yeah, pink. This right. really is the point to avoid. Right, help. There. The longer you take, the right, angrier he gets. Um. Blue, it's blue. No, that one. Both of you must decide on the right on. answer. Okay, so you only get one chance. Two, one. Mission over. Sensational. Get in there, grab those bio rods. What a piece. Well done. Oh, yes. Look at this. It was really tense at the last few minutes, and when we saw the robot go crazy, it was really fun. Even though we haven't got the most bio rods, it's not a problem because we're going to try our best and hopefully succeed. This place is officially huge. Last count, 122,346 roboids of various kinds infest these ships. Actually, since that last mission, that brings the count down to 122,344. Well on our way. But the war droids seem to be increasing in number. I don't understand it. It's like somewhere on these ships, the roboids have found a way to replenish themselves. Well, my recruits continue to amaze me. I still can't believe we haven't lost one overboard. But my search will continue until I find the ultimate team to tackle that final mission. Max and Melanie are in the lead at the moment with four bio rods each. But it's all to play for when they face the vaporizer. That enigma of a machine, if that's what it is, takes no prisoners. Oh well, next mission awaits. Wrong way. Recruits, welcome to Mission 7. Now, you know what that means. This is absolutely your final chance to get your hands on any bio rods before you come face to face with the vaporizer. 
We've relocated down to one of the many cargo holds here in the bowels of Futuregate. And down here, you don't just need to worry about Roboids, you've also got to keep an eye out for these Shades as well. Oh. Now, I know the Roboids are using the Shades for some sort of evil plan. I don't know what, but it's got something to do with these fuel crystals. They're using them as fuel for some kind of machine. Whatever it is, we have to stop them. I'm going to get you recruits to lift these crystals up and out of harm's way. Now, you're going to need to be careful. These crystals are extremely toxic, so it's a good job you brought your gloves. The first pair to get enough crystals to fill their neutralizer on the upper levels will win one bio rod each. OK, recruits, it's girls versus boys. IFE, you're with Melanie. Max, you're with Connor. Good luck and get hauling! Mission on! OK, teams, let's get those fuel crystals out of harm's way. You've got to work as a team if you're going to get anywhere with High Riser. Come on, shake that. Get them in there. Get them in. In. Come on, pull, 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 pull. There we are. There we go. Where's that? Got to get some more. Here you go. Watch those shades. I am. Don't let the shades slow you down. Watch out. Pour it, pour it, pour it. Remember to work in pairs. Try to communicate clearly. Come on out quicker. Okay. Teamwork is essential, yeah, recruits. Here, Shade. Have you got the bucket? Get the bucket. No, I've got it. I've got Keep it. Keep talking to each other. Well done, Max. Careful of those shades. Careful. Come on. Where's that? Where's that? Don't pull. Don't pull. Oh, Max, you ready? You must be careful of those oh, crystals. Hey, stop, They're stop, highly stop, toxic, stop. so you mustn't spill well them. Well done, Max. You're doing well. OK, OK, OK. okay. The first pair to fill the neutralizers that are going to get their hands on those bio rods. Oh, oh my. How are you doing, Connor? I'm doing fine. I'm almost there. That's it, Connor. We can do this. Right, are you bringing it? At the moment, Connor and Max, you are well ahead. I hope you, Mel, are picking up the pace. Come on, Mel. We've got to move those fuel crystals before we get spotted by the war droid that's patrolling the area. Come on, come on. Are you okay? It's still... No, it's stuck. Come on, Mel. Where's the thing? Oh, going well down. We're processing. We're processing. Well done, Max. On, Come on. Try and, push the, try and push them in the hole. Be careful with those fuel crystals. They're very volatile. Think fast, recruit. Go! Oh, be fast on this one. Go, 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 go. Connor, how you doing? You're both doing very well. This is going to be an extremely close race. I'll see, Connor. Keep going. Come on, Mel. Really fast. Oh, Come fast, Mel! It's looking good. One or two more pause should do it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Go, Mel. Keep going, well keep done, going, well keep going. Be careful about spilling those fuel crystals, recruits. They're not only toxic, but spilling them will slow you down as well. Well done, Max. We can do it, we can do it. Come on, Go, Mel. Come on, quickly. Up, 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 Mel. Well done, Max. Go, Go, push them into the Max, Connor, you're working hard. One more pause should do it. Two, one. No! No! Max and Connor, you have succeeded yes! the mission. Come on, get now in. That <laughs> Those bio rods are yours. Here comes my bio rod. Special delivery. Oh yeah! Look at this. Yes! Well done, Max! Woohoo! This is brilliant! Yeah. <laughs> Watch out the war droids in the cargo hold with <laughs> Grab those bio rods and let's scatter! <laughs> Really, really pleased. So, so, so pleased. This puts me in second place with Melanie. This puts which me is in really good. First place with five bio rods. Which so means you don't have to do the vaporizer, which which is quite cool. Yeah. I'm quite annoyed because if I'd have won the mission today with AFA, then I wouldn't have had to do the vaporizer. It's going to be quite hard working against your own team. So we become like a family yeah. together, and we've pushed each other and encouraged each other over these missions. Yeah. Cybell! Are you there, Cybell? I'm here, Caleb. How are the recruits faring? Good. They're good. Tough. And clever. They'll need to be. Futuregate is full of dangers. 
It wasn't meant to be that way, of course. It was supposed to be a wonderful place. A gateway for humanity to a better world. So why are the Roboids here? What went so wrong? Cybell. It was Psycon Research. They built the Roboids to serve as workers, as servants. They believed the Roboids would save humanity. Now only you, Caleb, can stop them destroying it. You must make sure your recruits are ready to enter V-Lab. I've read about V-Lab in the Psycon files. I suppose it's pretty dangerous. The door to that place just turns me cold. You are on a journey, Caleb. You and your recruits. V-Lab is the first step towards victory. Please, don't let me down. Cybell! Cybell! Don't leave me in the dark! I need answers! Cybell? I won't let you down. Bing bong, good morning campers, and welcome to another beautiful day here on your Roboid Cruise. Just a quick word of warning, don't spend too much time in the sun out on the upper deck. It could cause your metalwork to fry in the heat. On second thoughts, go ahead. It's crunch time for our recruits, and they've done well to survive this long, it's true. But now they must face the Vaporizer, a devilish test of robot strategy that will push them to their very limits. At the end, one of them will have to leave Mission 2110 for good. It's a nasty business, but somebody's got to do it. Recruits, welcome to the Vaporizer. This electronic evil deep in the heart of Futuregate. It's here that we'll be saying a fond farewell to one of you. The Roboids in the Shades have been working on this puzzling technology for some time. I'm not exactly sure of its purpose, but you can bet they're up to no good. Max, as the recruit who's collected the most bio rods, you are automatically safe. That means you three recruits will be competing for just two places in the next phase of the mission. The rules are simple. You must navigate your way across the vaporizer one step at a time, from your starting corner to the doorway on the opposite side. The recruit with the most bio rods will take the first step, followed by the others in turn. But you won't be alone on this mission. There are also three big ugly roboids making their way across the grid. You must not step into their path or allow them to step into yours. If you do, I'm afraid that means you'll be vaporized. And I'm sorry, recruits, but in this mission you will not be able to use your panic buttons. Now we have a tie-break situation. Melanie and Connor, you both collected the same number of bio rods. So the recruit who will be taking the first step is... Melanie. Good luck, recruits. And to one of you, goodbye. Mission on. Recruits, you're about to face the Vaporizer and three of the meanest Roboids here in Futuregate. The Vaporizer is now showing you the Roboid's next move. The lights are purple, Recruits. That means the Roboids will be stepping left next. Forward. Go forward. Forward. The grid is green. That means all three Roboids will move right. right. So you know where the Roboids are going next. Right. Left. Think about where you should move to avoid them. The Roboids moves are dictated by the Vaporizer. It's showing green, so that's another move right for the Roboids. Melanie. Forward. Forward. I'm going to move forward. You're getting quite close to that guard. Think logically, step carefully, recruits. Keep your concentration. One of you will be leaving my mission for good, so make every step count. Connor and Melanie, you're almost at your doorway and through to safety. Iofi, you are lagging behind, so be careful or you will be vaporized. The lights are purple, recruits. That means the Roboids will be stepping left next. 
forward. Honor. Go forward. Iofi. Well, I don't know if I should go through the middle or if I should go to my left, which could be longer. Take a step, Iofi. Left. Oh, that was silly. I think I'm going to have to move back one. Connor. I can't, I can't go anywhere else. I have to go backwards. Iofi. I'm going to go right. The grid is green. That means all three roboids will move right. I'm going to move back to where I was. I'm going to move forward. I have To the right. Melanie, Connor, you have almost outwitted the vaporizer. But your next move is an important one. Step carefully, recruits. Right. Melanie, take a step to safety. You'll be joining me in the next phase. Connor. Four. You two are through to phase three of the mission. Well done. Here we go. That's two recruits through Iofi. So I'm afraid that means you've automatically fallen victim to the vaporizer. I got vaporised, but really annoyed at Connor because every move I did, he did, and that got on my nerves. I did copy some of Melanie's moves, but I knew they were good tactics, and I got through the vaporizer. I was really happy not to face the vaporizer because I can do plenty more missions, and I can destroy some more robots. Because let's face it, I'm the guy to do it. Well, well, well. Three of you left. Do you recruits think I've chosen the bravest, the toughest, the cleverest of you to take forward to the next mission? Yes. Of course. We're all sorry to see Iofi leave us. She was a good recruit. She was brave. But at least we know that wherever she is now, she's safe from the roboids. At least I hope she is. Who knows where the vaporizer sent her? The next phase of Mission 2110 is almost upon us. And you recruits are going to have to work twice as hard. Now let's kick some bots. Kick some bots. <laughs> you have been careless, Caleb. Your recruit is now gone and not back home as you may think. Somewhere out there, far, far away. Others will follow if you proceed with your foolish missions. And one day, I will see to you, too. If you're an uber CBBC fan and crave more clips, then we've got exactly what you're after. Just press red on your remote, scroll down, and click on CBBC Extra, where you can watch exclusive clips from all new Diddy movies, and also clips from Sport Relief Does Glee Club. And for all you Tracy Beaker fans out there, a Tracy Beaker finale clip. It's all going on on CBBC Extra. So why not join in the fun and press red? You don't want to miss out. The all-singing, all-dancing extravaganza Glee Club is back on CBBC, and this time it's all in aid of Sport Relief. Our judges are poised to put talented groups from all over the UK to the test before you get the chance to choose the winner of Sport Relief Does Glee Club in the live grand final. Oh, yeah. Breathtaking. Who will be pitch perfect and who will wow the audience? It's all to play for. Sport Relief Does Glee Club 2012. Today at 4:30 on the CBBC channel. Amazing.